people how's it going happy Friday or Saturday depending on where you live but I'm just happy that the weekdays are almost over and even though I have to teach tomorrow and on Sunday this week I feel like it's just nice to know that I don't have to commute over the weekend so for the past week thankfully things weren't that hectic because it was mainly just job trainings doing shadowings and getting getting familiar with the new workplace going over some paperwork so it wasn't too much work on my side even though I know there will be a lot of things coming up coming my way in the future I have nothing to complain so far and let's hope that I can get used to the new work pace quickly in the future and we'll see what happens then but at the moment I'm just trying to absorb as many things as possible and quickly adapt to the new environment I'm in and then getting used to the new lifestyle and I'm I'm actually fond of this new structure life structure um, being able to go to work uh, in the morning and then um, being able to work in the building instead of at home and then come back making my dinner and just relax a little bit at night and then repeat the same schedule on the on the second day in the future though I might teach some night classes so my relaxing time might get reduced but hey more money why not <laughs> but yeah it's a it's a way to keep myself busy and then build up my experiences which I desperately in need of and I'm just hopeful that I won't drain myself too much but I can see myself reducing my workload in the near future for a little bit but so far I think I can handle this so that was just a little bit of life update and in this video I want to just quickly talk about what I've been thinking recently um, it won't be too long maybe like two minutes but I feel like com I feel like communication is so important now that I'm working and I feel like you have to understand what people are trying to convey and that different people have different communication styles and they kind of deliver the messages in so many different formats and um, there are so many things that you have to pick up without actually hearing those words that's why I feel like it's really important to um, practice picking up only important or words that hold way instead of listening to everything and then being led by the way it's presented rather than the message itself if that makes sense so I think um, the point of communication is the clarity of delivery and then the efficiency of information obtainment and I just feel like it's just something I need to put putting a lot of practice on and one example would be even though it's not work related it's more mostly just how I communicate with my parents in the past I used to get really mad when my mom would nag me about things that are just trivial that don't really matter to me but then recently I've picked it up that what she was trying to say is 
not really about those trivial things like uh, putting on more clothes when it gets cold or just uh, be careful when you drive and um, just be just eat healthier and all that kind of stuff all those details don't really matter what matters is that they my mom cares for me and she loves me so that's all that's the message core message that she has always been trying to convey to me that's why in the past when i couldn't um efficiently obtain or grab on that important message that she loves me she cares for me she wishes the best for me i was just kind of annoyed because because of the format that she chose to through which she chose to deliver the message the core message so i just thought that all that was all about was just nagging me or just kind of um burdening me with trivial little things, little conversations, uh, wasting my time because those things apparently I would take note of and I would do it if I uh, notice that it's getting cold, I would put on more clothes and whatnot. So um, that's when I wasn't picking up the core message. That's why I would get mad at her and then things would go south uh, when she was trying to, to convey concerns for me, I would just kind of flip at her and the conversations would just go to another direction that weren't really that productive. But now that I get the core message that she's trying to convey, I would just tell her, thank you, mom, I love you. And that's good enough. And she would be happy, I would be happy. And that is some major discovery I just I, I made on how to improve the efficiency of communication and I hope you find that little example useful or helpful uh, either way let me know your maybe miscommunication stories and uh, in the comment section below so we we can talk about it more all right thank you for watching I'll see you soon in the next video take care bye